Santiago, Chile, the place I decided to go to in my South American journey. As I was telling you guys, I was buying a house at the time. It was getting time for me to go and sign on said house. So by the time I got to Chile, I needed to kind of hightail it to Miami and get back to Tampa. But I wish I would have known how cold Chile was before I came. Mind you, I did not go hiking in Monte Picchu because I only had two hoodies. I still only had said two hoodies and Santiago was 20 degrees colder than anywhere I had been. The Airbnb I decided to stay at was in Bella Vista, Barrio Bella Vista, a vibrant artistic district that was supposed to be young and kind of hip. However, it was more bohemian and dark and grungy. So the first night I just ate at a pub, freezing my butt off, uh, ate the fritas and the skirt steak that's traditional to this area, drank some beer, met some English guys, and it was so cold. I was walking around, I saw a couple bars, but it wasn't the weekend yet, so the first instinct was to go home. Upon doing some research, I decided that because I only had limited weather gear, I only wanted to do things that were like inside. So I definitely toured the barrios. I toured Barrio Listeria and Barrio Bella Vista. As for my day attractions, because I only had two days, I decided to visit the Sky Coast Nera, which was the tallest building in South America in the mall that was probably seven to 10 stories high. I went through Hard Rock because I love Hard Rock. This mall was absolutely brilliant. I went to Chili's, kind of ironic, right? I went to Chili's at the top of this mall and spent the last day of my trip here waiting on my airport travel watching Premier League soccer. I feel like that's what you got to do. But this building is 300 meters high and offers 360 panoramic views of the city. Very cool experience. The mall had absolutely every story you could imagine. The observatory showed you how big and how massive Chile is uh, or Santiago is rather surrounded by the mountain range uh, that surrounds it so very cool attraction and i'm glad it kept me warm i was very ecstatic to be in the building the building also featured a lounge that was at the top uh, of the observatory deck very cool my next day i visit barrio listeria which is a cool upscale artsy little district that is attached to Centro. Having gone out in Santiago, I realized through meeting some people that the city experienced riots in 2019. So the Santiago that I was getting to experience was way darker and a little bit in recovery mode from the events that happened during COVID. Listeria was really awesome because it had a lot of artistic flair, a lot of music flair, a lot of fusion of international cultures going on. And that's where I probably should have stayed instead of Bella Vista because, like I said, Bella Vista was a little bit more grungy, uh, a little bit more alternative. Listeria really gave me a different feel for what Santiago could be. Um, There's different barrios that I didn't experience, like Barrio Brazil um, and some other places. Those places I definitely want to experience uh, when I come back through. Listeria, like I said, had so many vending operations going on. 
had really cool pubs that featured barbershops and different eclectic things. Like I went to a, a Vietnam and a Vietnamese restaurant rather and ice cream parlor just like fused together and had a jewelry store like under it. It was just really cool. Walked around there, listened to music, ate, filmed. It was it was really a good vibe. And it really was the nice cap that I needed to leave South America and, and head back to the United States to continue the investing journey.